Thank you for visiting us. What's the most difficult part about language learning? What's the most difficult part about language learning? Apa bagian tersulit dari pembelajaran bahasa? For beginners, pronunciation might be difficult, but as you learn more, you'll realize, if you don't have a big vocabulary, it's hard to get around in that new language. So at that stage, memorizing a lot of words might be very challenging for learning a new language. For beginners, pronunciation might be difficult, but as you learn more, you'll realize, if you don't have a big vocabulary, it's hard to get around in that new language. So at that stage, memorizing a lot of words might be very challenging for learning a new language. Untuk pemula, pengucapan mungkin sulit. Tetapi saat Anda belajar lebih banyak, Anda akan menyadari, jika Anda tidak memiliki kosakata yang banyak, sulit untuk berkeliling dalam bahasa baru itu. Jadi pada tahap itu, menghafal banyak kata mungkin sangat menantang untuk belajar bahasa baru. Are there a lot of people choosing English as their major? Are there a lot of people choosing English as their major? Apakah ada banyak orang yang memilih bahasa Inggris sebagai jurusan mereka? Yes, English is becoming the international language and it's a very useful tool for us. Because of the globalization, many companies need to do business with foreign countries, so people who are good at English are in high demand. Actually, nowadays, Non-English major students also put a lot of effort into learning English. Yes, English is becoming the international language and it's a very useful tool for us. Because of the globalization, many companies need to do business with foreign countries. So people who are good at English are in high demand. Actually, nowadays, non-English major students also put a lot of effort into learning English. Iya, bahasa Inggris menjadi bahasa internasional dan itu adalah alat yang sangat berguna bagi kami. Karena globalisasi, banyak perusahaan perlu melakukan bisnis dengan luar negeri. Sehingga orang-orang yang pandai bahasa Inggris sangat diminati. Sebenarnya, saat ini, mahasiswa jurusan non-bahasa Inggris juga berusaha keras untuk belajar bahasa Inggris. How many foreign languages do you know? How many foreign languages do you know? Berapa banyak bahasa asing yang Anda ketahui? I only speak English, and I know a little Japanese and Korean, mostly from the TV dramas I've watched. I always admire people who can speak many foreign languages because language doesn't only convey meanings but also can convey cultures. I only speak English, and I know a little Japanese and Korean, mostly from the TV dramas I've watched. I always admire people who can speak many foreign languages because language doesn't only convey meanings but also can convey cultures. Saya hanya berbicara bahasa Inggris dan saya tahu sedikit bahasa Jepang dan Korea. Sebagian besar dari drama TV yang saya tonton. Saya selalu mengagumi orang-orang yang bisa berbicara banyak bahasa asing karena bahasa tidak hanya menyampaikan makna tetapi juga dapat menyampaikan budaya. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe to watch other videos. Thank you.